Hi, I'm Otis. I'm Evelyn. And we have a topic that we want to share with you guys that comes from a project that we're working on. So the topic is? Negative thinking. Yes, negative thinking. I am guilty. I mean, I'm guilty. You guilty? Uh, I am guilty of having sporadic uh, thoughts that pass through, as you can hear and see the words pass through they keep going because I don't really spend time on negative thoughts because they're not helpful they're not useful it only uh, brings uh, people down and since I like to be happy negatives don't fit with happy so mm -hmm. I just kind of you know get over it get past it and move on and just you know figure out what I can do to improve the situation that I'm facing if the situation is not something that is very conducive or makes me happy i figure out how can i turn it around so it quickly goes from being negative to being extremely positive because now i'm actually doing problem solving cr uh, critical thinking like how quickly can i move past this or get over get over this i mean i'm not going to sit here and say like oh you know in a blink of an eye it can be gone no but with steps and actions it can be like you can change your situation by taking one step at a time I mean, just because someone is like two miles ahead of you doesn't mean that they have everything figured out. It's just that they've walked two more miles than you have and gone through stuff that you're going through. That's good, babe. I know. On my end, I can probably say that I have improved dramatically in this area. Dramatic is a very powerful word. <laughs> I'm just saying. I used to be very self-critical. Very. And the uh, negative self-talk was loud. It's not that loud anymore, actually. And one of the other things that I have done is, I've learned anyway, I've learned to recognize that that talk when it comes. Because it's not just... When you say it out loud, it's when you're thinking it, right? You're thinking it and then it comes out your mouth. Sometimes it's just in your head. So I'm, I've learned to identify when those voices are coming and, um, and then to detach myself from them, that it's not really me, that those voices aren't necessarily always feeding me truth. They're just feeding me fear and, and just the wrong feelings. So it's... Uh, it's not perfect, but I don't think none of us are. We all struggle with this at some point. I think the best tip that I can give is to just be observant and to be very careful that what you're thinking about, you're actually you know, putting it out there. So be aware of that. And hopefully that helps you kind of switch the, I look so old to I'm just getting better with age, you know? Uh, I would add to it the fact that, you know, you're going to have negative thoughts because there's just, you know, you you just have bad days and bad stuff actually still happens to everyone. It happens to me. Yeah. It, happens, it happens to everyone. It's about how you deal with it. Are you one, if you have one bad day, do you follow it up with a second and a third? Or do you bounce back and say, like, that was yesterday, today, today, and you make the most of today? Mm -hmm. That That's the type of person I am. I would rather make the most of today and... You know, if something bad happens and I, you know, it was not a, a, you know, a truly happy or a spectacular day like I normally have, I just chalk it up to like, hey, it's just one of those days that truly makes me appreciate all the other days when it's, it's really great and everything is going. But it's like I know tomorrow's going to be better than it was today. So that's what I'm always looking at is that tomorrow will always be better than it was today. So I live like in that particular moment, like tomorrow's tomorrow. Yesterday was yesterday, and I'm not going to look back at yesterday. You learn from it, and you just move on. Put it away. Mm. There you go, folks. Mr. Happy Thoughts. Bang. <laughs> Don't be too hard on yourself. No one's perfect, and like I said, you're going to have negative thoughts. Everybody has negative thoughts. Mm -hmm. Everybody. And if someone tells you that they don't have negative thoughts, they're lying. And, and there's the first negative thought that's right there is that they don't have negative thoughts. Everyone has it. It's just what do you do with the thought that matters? Do you put it out? Do you, do you laugh it off? 
Do you send it away? How you process and handle it makes the difference. Cool. So what do you guys think? What? How do you handle negative thoughts, negative thinking? How do you handle it? Comment below. Feel free to like this video if you liked. Like it. And share with your friends. Make sure you pass it along. Help someone out. The other thing is we have a new website. It's otisandevelyn.com and we're inviting you to come check us out. Yes. So Please. we Thank look you. forward to uh, seeing you there. Appreciate it. And um, do send us your, your thoughts. And if you have any questions, go ahead and send those over too. We'll see you soon. Hasta luego. See ya. I cooked today and I spent <laughs> a lot of time cooking. And I really, really <laughs> just wished that someone would acknowledge my good cooking. Cause damn it, I cooked today. <laughs> and it was good, okay? I don't care what you say. It was good. The chicken was good. The rice was good. The sweet beans, I mean, you know, I didn't do anything. I just warmed them up, but shit. I, I, I have to ask for some feedback. I, can, I mean, I'm never gonna get this right. <laughs> my family's never gonna wanna eat my food. You know how quiet it was on that table? Normally when you cook, they're like, oh, oh, mmm, <laughs> yum. And it was so freaking quiet. And I was just, I was so insecure. I mean, it really sucked. That's, uh. I don't think you like my cooking. No, it's not that. No, everyone's just hungry. So you can join in silence. <laughs> How am I supposed to really believe that? <laughs> Seriously? I <laughs>